So as I was uh, preparing these readings for today, uh, I was listening to a commentary on it, and he was saying, you knew what was going to be coming, right? You've, you've been listening to these readings for how many years, over and over, year after year, and you know, there's parallels between Luke and Matthew and all this stuff. So you knew, as, I, as soon as I said, ask, you knew it was coming. You'll receive, seek and you'll find, knock on the door, will be open. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. That, that we, we know these things, and instead of really entering into the scriptures, we can very often just, well, it's, it's there, it's the same. And so he says, well, okay, then I better really dive into this and see where the Lord is leading. And so I was praying through this and uh, I, I put myself into the scene. I says, what's going on here? Jesus is telling this, this parable and saying, I wonder, I wonder. So follow me here. Um, if maybe this is something Jesus saw personally. Maybe I'm thinking if he and the Holy Family are on the way back from Egypt. And maybe he's four, five, six years old. We don't know exactly how old he was when he came back from the flight into Egypt. That um, he's going and they finally reach this home at midnight. Now, this is a culture where, of course, uh, hospitality is an essential essential part and lack of hospitality is a huge huge sin in their society and so this friend joseph says we we need a place to say he says oh yes please come in and i can just imagine joseph may be helping mary to get in and find a, a place to, to 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 get settled and he sends jesus out to go get something at the donkey or whatever and jesus watches this friend who has just welcomed them in going and pounding on the door of the next door neighbor saying, I just had a friend come at midnight, I need something. And the guy said, go away. And you can just hear, see Jesus watching this, at least I can, watching this event as he keeps pounding and pounding and pounding because he knows that he is responsible for getting them some food. Three loaves of bread. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. So he's pounding and pounding. Finally, the guy gets up and gets them some bread. I, I wonder if that was something Jesus experienced in his lifetime. And looking and saying, okay, what's on the other side of this parable? Where did this come from? And then what does this mean for us? And how we are called to live. That when someone comes to us in need, do we... Do we react immediately because we're supposed to, or do we, do we wait till it gets more annoying than anything? I can remember um, when I was in Keene, uh, there were three priests that were in the rectory, but Father Dan, God bless him, he was in his 70s, he says, I don't answer the phone at night, that's for the associates. <laughs> So the two young guys, we had to answer the phone for emergencies and stuff in the middle of the night. And a lot of times it wasn't a question of who would do it, because a lot of times uh, the other priest would be on his day off when I was there and, and likewise. But there was like one day a week when we were both in, in the house. And I remember waking up one night to the phone ringing and saying, I should let him get it. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll get it. And, Sometimes he beat me to the phone and sometimes I beat him to the phone. Uh, but you know, we knew somebody had to do it out of persistence because someone calling at that late hour wasn't asking, what time is the midnight mass? But rather had something more important, more pressing, someone dying, someone that needed anointing. And God says to us, if you give good gifts to people, even though you're wicked, even though you're selfish, even though you'd rather let Father Steve pick up the phone. Do you not think that the Father in Heaven will give you so much more if you ask, if you seek, if you knock? Problem is, we're not persistent enough. And I, God has His reasons for stretching us, for not giving us immediately what we ask. There are reasons, and I think they're probably good reasons, because if we got everything we asked for like that, what would happen? We'd probably start forgetting about God as someone to be in relationship with. 
we sing, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Won't he give his very life? May we delve into these scriptures today, allowing the Lord to really speak to our hearts what he's saying today and where he's leading us in, in, in delving into these mysteries, God's incredible love for us and how he so longs to give us good things if we are finally open to receive, to find, and to have the door open to us.